In this Halo MCC development update, we have five things to talk about. We have a workaround for the Because You Beg challenge. We can hopefully get that done. February Black History Month nameplate you can earn right here. HCS Halo 3 weekly tournaments starting up on February 14th. An update to the quit bans and how to avoid getting your bans in Halo MCC. And lastly, some flighting updates. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date. Let's get right into the video here. But as we do every Friday, we get a nice little development update going on with the MCC. These are just kind of like nice little weekly things to kind of go, hey, Stuff's happening with the MCC. So in this one, I'm going to break it all down, give you the TLDR of everything you need to know that happened in this development update. With the release of Season 5, the most attempted and also completed challenge, by the way, in the MCC has been the Because You Beg challenge, which gives you the Mr. Chief helmet. Now, a lot of people have been able to earn this helmet. I have as well, but I certainly had my issues of it not working, and a lot of people are still experiencing this issue. Well, currently, there actually is a workaround to get the Because You Beg challenge completed, recognized in your your game so that you can earn the Mr. Chief, but it does require quite a few steps. I'll leave a link in the description down below that will take you right to the Halo support site so you can figure out how to do it yourself. Again, check out the link in the description down below to take you right to the Halo support site that give you the exact detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this whole thing. But I want to let you guys know that that is an option that you can do. And while you're checking out the description, we do have some links for my social if you want to check it out. We do stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. If you guys want to get an opportunity to ask me some questions or hang out, play some games, or just watch some Halo and just have a good time with the community, check out that Twitch link in the description down below. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday. But back to the news here. Next here, I want to just talk about the Black History Month nameplate. If you guys don't have this yet, you have a chance to do it now. All you gotta do is just log in to the MCC during the month of February and you get this snazzy looking nameplate right here. Pretty awesome right there. Yeah, we also have HCS events kicking back off in February with Halo 3 tournaments starting off on February 14th, giving players an opportunity to win a thousand dollars for playing Halo. Registration right here on the website as well. I always link my source for the development update. Again, link in the description down below. This next section talks about the quit ban system that's going on with the MCC. Uh, just I think just more just of a refresher because it's been so long since we've gotten like an official word. Some people kind of gotten some confusion exactly how the ban system works in the MCC. Uh, obviously, we know when you quit games, prematurely, most likely you'll get banned. But there are exceptions to this, so I want to go over these exceptions so you understand exactly the situation so you don't have to kind of sit through some awkward games right here. So you will receive a quit ban if you are within the 50% of players quitting on your team. The first offense, it's one minute. Second offense, three, then five, 10 minutes. This pretty much looks like where it maxes out if you just keep quitting on games. They do stay here, for example, saying what's the first 50%. So say if you're in a 4v4 match, you're one of the first two people on your team to quit, you get counted towards a ban right there. But if you're the last two people left in your four player team, you can quit out without any worry of penalty. I'm assuming this also works for BTB as well, where if you're on an eight player team, the first four people quit out, then you can quit because there's only four people left on your team, then you're fine to quit without any worries of penalty. As long as you're under that first 50% of players who quit the game, you don't have to worry about bans. So essentially you don't have to sit through two V4 matches, one V4 fat matches and things like that. Though it does happen quite often where people will lag out during the low screen and it starts out being a 3v4 match. In that case, it's still a percentage. So then you still have to wait for two people to quit out, which would be 66% of your lobby. Then you can quit. Essentially, you just need to do the math and think to yourself, has 50% of my team left the game yet? And if they have not, then you don't quit. If it, more than 50% of your team has quit, then you can quit quit the game without any worry of penalty. Now this next section is the juicy part for me, at least it is the flighting information. We actually have some details talking about some of the awesomeness coming for us Halo players. Sounding more like at the end of February, early March is when public flighting looks to be rolling out. And one of the features I know a lot of people are very interested in, I get so many cons comments about this and it's gonna be the FOV slider support for all Xbox One consoles. So that's gonna be flighted again in this upcoming flight here. 
Uh, we also have the FOV slider will no longer be locked when Xbox Series S or X devices are set at 120 frames right there, so that's really nice. Uh, additional ways to customize your controls. This is something new. I mean, we did read in the recent development update from Halo Infinite saying you can select whatever buttons you want to be for your uh, actions, which is pretty awesome. This sounds different because they have always mentioned additional key binding, most likely meaning double key binds, which we've been kind of waiting for an option for the MCC, but um, additional ways to customize your controls. I mean, they, they could possibly just copy and paste that feature over. That'd be pretty sweet. It really gives a nice look into the preview of what Halo Infinite has to offer there. Uh, they also have master keyboard support for consoles going to be flighted here towards the end of February. Uh, view model adjustments as well, which is something they've been working on since like January of 2020. So it's been like a year finally getting flighted here. The most interesting thing here though, and maybe a new place and way to play. Now I kind of speculated a little bit about this new place and way to play the MCC. Makes me think of two things right now. The new places possibly being Halo Online maps coming in here. So this would make a lot more sense to me just because like, yeah, these features are really awesome to have and you know, really would be fun to jump in. But honestly, like, Having the features that we know right now in a flight, which are, do need to be flighted, don't get me wrong, it's just not that exciting to play. It'd be kind of tough to get people to jump in and test it out enough to where it's actually worth having a flight. So having a new places and new way to play makes me think new contests and new places possibly being like new maps from like Halo Online. We've recently received the armor sets from Halo Online, at least a few of those. Why not have some of the maps from Halo Online come over to the MCC? Now that would be exciting and definitely worth playing out in this flight. And also a new way to play would certainly be the custom game browser, which has been something that 343 has been hinting at, what, since like June or July of 2020. So finally getting a chance to be able to play that would be fantastic. Again, that's speculation. I asked around Twitter, no one really had any response to that as well. So I'm assuming that this is my best guess right now when it comes to new places as in locations and new ways as in custom game browser to enjoy Halo MCC. And from the December development update that we had for the MCC, they do mention here specifically custom game browser on track for early 2021. Early, late February, early March is exactly early 2021. So that's what I was suspected to be. Now we may have a faster turnaround from the beginning of the flight to the launch of the feature since these are just features Previously with flights, we had entire games that they had to go through. So a lot more content they needed to you know, scrub up and make sure that it was working properly. So we could possibly see maybe like once the flight happens, we take a week off to kind of clean up things and then next week release the feature. So maybe at the end of March, we could see the custom game browser coming to the MCC. And we won't fully know until we actually get to that point. So if you want to stay up to date with the development of MCC and Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Check out the videos on the screen right over here if you missed any content from me recently. And also, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.